Morning, friends and neighbors. Ah, the kids worked pretty hard on this little pen. Um, this is what we call a stay pen. Um, it's got stays um, in it. We used uh, metal T-posts. This is a smooth, twisted wire. And uh, kid put the majority of it up. I come back the other night with the horses. Um, first generation homestead brought our our horses over for us. Uh, from Farmington, they come out there in medicine. We brought them down. We're gonna continue to put stays in every time I get a chance to cut some in between each one until it's all full of stays. Um, probably set a couple of wood posts in the middle. Uh, me and Polly are headed out. It's about 6.30. We're headed out over to uh, First Generation Homestead. We're going to go over there and help them castrate some pigs. And then we're going to um, go fishing. We're going to go to Quamato Lake. Uh, it's over by Quamato, New Mexico. We're going to go over there and do some fishing. So come along with us. Uh, right now I'm going to get these horses some hay. And we're going to get on the road. Alright folks, we're out here at First Generation Homestead. We got some little pigs we're gonna castrate. Took us a little while to get here. We're gonna throw some corn down. Let's throw it down right in the corner. And then we're gonna snare a male pig and castrate him. Well, we got three of them. One got out. You can see where we cut them. There's a couple of them got some blood on them. There's one that's cut. Right there, a white one in front of us. No more testicles. We kind of got in the thick of it and we kind of forgot to turn the camera on. Olivia even helped. <laughs> so there's one out there wandering around. I was going to try to walk him back in, but he's went way out into the trees. So probably just have to wait until he comes back and Mike will have to get him. What'd you think about the, what'd you think about the experience, Mike? That was pretty neat. I, I mean, I'd done it as, a, or I had, I'd been a part of it as a kid, but, uh, I was, pretty simple I mean the hardest part is catching them and getting them to sit still long enough you know how to hold them yeah there's a particular way you got to hold them and there's a particular way you got to take and handle them and with the, the biggest key to any type of livestock is move slow don't get in a hurry try to handle them as easy and as nice as you can that way they don't get excited uh, these hogs are right back to eating they're castrated they're right back to eating they're, they're breathing normal a couple of them got kind of hot but they're back to normal eating and in three days, you won't know the difference. His own worm farm here. I think I showed it to you on the last visit. And uh, he's got quite a few worms here. Red wigglers. Here, right here. And we do have some earthworms too. They're not in here. So he waters them. He sub irrigates them. And then he takes the the. We wet this, and then and then the water. We take that. That's our fertilizer, liquid fertilizer. Water comes out of there. And the worm castings and then whatever chick whatever worms he doesn't take and use for fishing he can feed to his chicken we're experimenting i've got a 50 percent chance of my frost date happening in this month in, in the middle of this month so i trimmed all the leaves these are the ones that were dead before i put worm castings on them and look at them we got jalapenos galore and I trimmed them to try and push to push them out because once it freezes them you're done the same with the tomatoes I trimmed all the tomatoes up trying to trying to push the fruit out I left those as an experiment to see how how it's gonna work uh, 
and you used worm castings on all these. Mm -hmm. And and they, they were they were brown and gone. And of course that was already several months ago now. But they they actually came back. Pretty cool. And quail. They got quail. And I think the move jarred them because they, they, they laid a few eggs and then they quit laying. Yeah. I, I think just the stress of the move got them. That is the one that got away. So they're going to take and throw some concrete block under that gate. And he'll be in here. And then Mike's gonna, Mike and Alex are gonna castrate him when the, they get back. There's my fishing partner. We've been wanting to go fishing all summer. If we don't do nothing else, we're going to get our lines wet. Do I have to bait your hook? Yeah. Mike's got the worms. You only need to, all you need is, you don't want to put a hole in Myself or anybody's self. Miss Polly is methodically fishing with purpose over here. Miss Olivia is fishing. Alex is headed down. Do you need some bait? Worms are over here. I'm luring. You're luring? Yeah. Is that is that a is that a fishing term? Luring? Or, I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and Miss Linda is under a tree uh, eating ice cream. That's the way you fish right there. What do you think, Miss Olivia? You gonna catch one? Yeah, she's positive. You feel it? Yeah, you gotta feel it. All righty. You lose him? Whew, we had a fish here for a minute. So we've been here for a little bit. Linda got a a strike. I don't know earlier. Our lines are just sitting in the water. There you go, Linda. You just let that and sit there. Sure is peaceful up here on this lake. <coughs> Somebody fishing way down there. Ain't nothing like a mountain lake. You enjoying yourself, Mama? 
Nothing like sitting beside the water, is it? That's why they call it fishing and not catching. Well, folks, we've been sitting here a couple hours. No bites. Always sees these little minutes getting the top of the water. It's a pretty place though. Olivia's seen elk track. We're just sitting here getting our lines wet. Seen a few ducks. My wife needs fresh bait. So I'm gonna get her some bait on. She hooked me folks. She hooked me. Now we're gonna try some different bait. We tried all kind of bait. Well these things stink. different what I was using before. I can't hang on to them, so I don't know how I'm supposed to get on hook. If I spill this juice on me, it's gonna stink. They're slimy. Mm. fishing with her kids I spent most of the day baiting lines fixing rats nests untangling line I never did get to fish a whole lot I sure do enjoy sitting here especially when they cars run up down the road Soaking up the sun. First generation homestead is leaving. They got to get back to their animals. Me and Miss Polly's going to stay here for a little bit while longer and see if we get any bites. If not, we're going to head out. And Miss Olivia, she's our snack lady. <laughs> she's always bringing us Thank snacks. You. We'll see you later. Thank you. They left us with the worms, and we are going to put them in our uh, compost pile, see if we can't grow some worms. At least get our compost broke down a whole lot. Me and Miss Polly's going to sit here for a little while longer and see if anything bites. If not, we're going to head home, but it sure is peaceful up here. I always like the water. There's a bull elk over my, to my left. He's been bugling. Come down off a hill and he's over in a ditch. I think he wants to come get some water. Sun's about to go down. Me and Polly's still fishing away. I tried some spinner bait. Didn't work. I went back to some power bait with a little bit of worm on there. Times of day matter when you're fishing. Sun's going down, we might get a hit yet. We don't like to give up though. That help. That help load again over there. He might come down here and I might get a shot of him. It's elk season though, bow season. Yeah, hopefully we'll get a fish we can show you. Maybe so, maybe no. It's good to get out in nature. Good to get out beside the water. 
Let it rejuvenate your soul. Let all the tension re release out of your body. Listen to the wind. Listen to nature. I don't know if y'all can hear that or not, but that bull bugled again. We may get to see him yet. Cow elk coming down this hill right here. You guys can see her. My battery's about to die on my camera. She's just on the other side of that tree. She's going to come down and get her a drink, I think. Cow elk. She's going through them trees right there. Bull elk's back over this way somewhere. Cow elk right there in them trees. Right there she goes. There she goes. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but she's moving up to the tree. Well, folks, this is the other end of the lake, and I think it goes on around. You can actually get a little bit farther up. Next time we come, we'll know. This might be a little bit better place to fish. I don't know. Who can tell? Me and Miss Polly had a good day today. Fishing. It doesn't matter whether you're catching or not. It's that you're fishing. And... Uh, really was nice to be on the water and relax yeah be fishing so maybe we'll show you a few more shots of the elk if we can see them we we'll leave out of here and uh, remember to like share subscribe hit the old notification bell to see what we're doing next we never know what we're getting into and until next time we'll see you down there right here. Most likely just cows. I don't see any horn. She's going to stop and look back at me here. That's how they do usually. Got their heads in there.